And what is going on everybody, I'm Sigurly Toasty here, and today we're playing some more Pixel Car Racer. This is going to be a regular Pixel Car Racer episode, and we are building a WRX wagon because I have totally ran out of ideas. I named it Road Trip because, you know, like, it's a station wagon, it, no, not station wagon, but it's like a wagon, so, it's a four-door wagon, so, it makes sense, like, that you would have kids in it and go on a road trip and stuff like that. That's kind of the theme for this build. Something that could be cool, fast, but would also be practical on a road trip. So we're gonna put some e we're gonna put an ECU in it, not two step, just because that ruins valves. Bright bulbs, that way you can see at night. New lug nuts, so that way they're not seized, just in case you get a flat tire. Uh. I was gonna. I don't know which one I'm gonna go with yet, the luggage or the camper. So we'll get back to that in a minute. Um, no headlight tint, and then a hook just in case you need to be towed. No nitrous because that ruins everything in the internals. No spoiler because it's a wagon. Inner cooler just because you don't want to be overheating. Nice brakes for stop and go traffic and, you know, mountain roads and stuff like that. A pretty decent exhaust for good flow. Uh, this part gets a little glitchy. Not glitchy, but slow. Laggy, that's the word I'm looking for. Actually, I don't know what color I'm going to make this yet. It might just be blue, but who knows. Lower it, but not too low, because you want to be able to actually drive around places and stuff like that. Decent tires. Uh, turbo, just because, you know, you can. Intake, because you want that breathability. No. Comfort seats. Just because you got to be comfortable, you're driving for so long. Yeah, I'm going to keep it blue, so let's go with these black wheels that I was looking at. Do the blackout or... Oh, no. Never mind. The blackout is only all black because there's two different types of the red. You got the bloodshot and then you got the... What, the blaze? The fire. So the blackouts. Um... Give me one second. I'm sorry, I just realized that I was recording here for a couple hours, like two hours. So, I didn't check my other phone, which is my main phone, so when I heard it vibrate, I had to go get it, so. And yeah, I know, I only record, this is my third video recording, and they're only like 15, 20 minutes long, but the time in between trying to think of ideas and trying to set up the next video, it takes a little bit, so... That's why it's taking me almost two hours. So you got the hook for the towing, the replacement lug nuts, good bulbs, comfort seats, you don't need a body kit, the paint's gonna stay the same. Which, by the way, this is totally off topic to the comfort seats, but it kind of reminded me. How do you put, uh, how, how would you hold a cup in your car if it doesn't have cup holders? Because I have a 78 Camaro, and they didn't have cup holders. So, is there, like, an attachment I can buy? Because I know, like, they sell them for ventilation, like, as you saw in Initial D, where he had the, he had, like, a cup holder in the vent, but I don't think I have one of those vents in that old of a car. Like that style of vent, I think it's a little different. I'm not sure. I haven't checked it in a little bit. But like, how how would I add a cup holder? Like some, not like install one into the interior, but just like, you know, something like that where it like clips into something. Is there something I can buy like on Amazon or something? Tell me down in the comment section. Ooh, I got felt like headed for a second there. Ooh, those are some ugly wheels. Do the tires at least? Make it look nicer. No, I'm gonna have to get better wheels because those are 
Alright, well, I'm gonna have to go with you, good old buddy. The sleepers. Even though this is not supposed to be a sleeper. That's just the wheels I'm going for on this thing, just because it makes the tires look bigger. I'm not a fan of really thin tires. That's just a thing I have. I, it's just a preference I have. I don't like very thin tires. I like a little bit of meat, and that's probably from the muscle car side of me. Where, like, you know, big old meaty tires is, like, what you need. You know what I mean? Sorry if I seem a little, like, out of it, or if I sound a little, like, mumbled. I am very tired. So, and I'm not forcing myself to record. I kind of, I mean, to an extent, you can kind of say I am. But at the same time, I have the next two days to record, and I just decided why not finish a third video today and then save the other two for the next couple days. Alright, so let's drop this thing down and see what it looks like. Ooh, that's a little low. Um, I can't adjust it. That's just going to have to out be how it is. It doesn't scrape. It could just be a the reflection. It might look a little weird because it's a shiny floor. Maybe if I change the way the shop looks, it'll look a little different. No, it still seems kind of low. I don't know. Anyways, let's see how much horsepower we're making. Let's see how fast we'll get to our destination on this road trip. Okay, so we are making 931 horsepower and 503 feet pound feet pounds foot pounds of torque. It's all four wheels. We are definitely getting to that destination pretty darn quick. Oh, CSR is reloaded. Cool. So, let's go racing. You know, I didn't really I didn't realize where I got this idea from until I thought about it like 10 seconds ago I probably thought of the road trip idea from Adam LZ I know he didn't have a wagon and all but just he went on a road trip across America so I guess that's why road trip is stuck in my head and then I don't remember who but someone driving with him in a G35 sedan had his kids with him so I guess that kind of added the four door aspect to it and then Originally, I was thinking National Lampoon's uh, vacation, and that's where the station wagon part came in. So, I guess it's like a mixture of Adam LZ and National Lampoon's. Okay, so first we're gonna do the the quarter mile. Isn't this the aren't we the exact same car? Just I'm a wagon. I don't know. I, I didn't really look at... It, the, the front kind of looked the same. But then again, they could be two different models and I just don't know it. I don't know much about Subarus. Ooh, another crate. Cool. Well, I had to go do the mile anyways. Because we are a road trip, we gotta be able to make the mile race. Ew. I get it. My favorite color is yellow and all, but... It looks like mustard gas. I've had this one before. It's really ugly. And that's coming from someone who makes all, like, everything he has yellow. I mean, my Kia Stinger is yellow. The CRX is yellow. And the reason my favorite color is yellow is because my Camaro is yellow. Um, on Skate 3, my skateboard, my t-shirts, they're all yellow. Uh, Forza Horizon, and Forza Horizon 2, a lot of my cars are yellow. So I'm kind of like David Patterson, but instead of blue, it's yellow. That dude in yellow. So 
So, yeah. It, it's ugly. Those those tires are very ugly when you do a burnout. Gotta do the mile, and then we'll do the street race, and maybe we'll do a tournament. Or maybe we might do the tournament. No, because we have to do the street race. Because even if we don't do the tournament, we still have to get the street race done. Nine thousand RPM? Dang. I keep wanting to touch it like a nitrous button. But I didn't add any. Okay, now we just sit here and wait. Alright, well, that's cool. Now let's go do the street race. Maybe the tournament. I don't know. I kind of want... Actually, no, I'm not going to do the tournament just because I want to get to bed. I am tired. Colorado, because I've always wanted to take a road trip through Colorado, even though I usually do the Colorado races on this game anyways. Oh, oh, I, I wasn't paying attention. Hopefully that didn't just cost me the race. Don't let them directly behind you, because no matter how far they are, they will definitely get a draft. This race is taking forever. We are going 200 miles per hour, though. We're not going to hit 210, are we? Nope, just missed it. Two hundred and nine. Which, by the way, how many races have I won so far? You secured 1,460 wins. <sighs> That's crazy. Anyways, oh, excuse me, I'm trying to hold back this yawn. Actually, give me one second. Alright, so I paused to yawn, and then I was answering a text, and then I got distracted on Instagram, and it took me like five minutes. So, I don't remember what I was talking about, I don't remember if I was like mid-outro, so I'm going to start an outro right now. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you liked the video, leave a like. If you disliked the video, leave a dislike. Tell me down in the comment section why you liked it. Dislike the video. Talk to me down in the comment section. I love giving thumbs up, hearts, and positive and all and good replies, to positive, supportive, and all and good comments. But I never react negatively to a neg. Blah, blah, blah. But I never react negatively to a negative comment because that's quite me and I'm all about spreading positivity. If you want positive content or just funny retweets every once in a while, go down to the bottom of my description, and there you'll find my Twitter. Above that description, two Instagram accounts. Obviously, I'm on them all the time. Instagram number one is my main for myself and for the channels so we want to keep up to date with me or the channel. Go follow that one. Instagram number two is my automotive based one. It's uh, You're already here, you like cars, so go check it out. You'll find something you like it. Hopefully, you like a lot of it and hit that follow button. It really does help. Which, by the way, um, if you got a car that you have a video of the exhaust or you know just driving by and you also have pictures of it, Send them to there. Send them to under, at underscore, no, little, little, at vroom underscore and underscore zoom. That is the second Instagram account. That is the automotive-based one. I like posting follower cars more than I like posting, you know, videos of cars that I found on my own. So, I, I, I haven't turned down a car yet. I mean, I post everything from big old diesel trucks to Metro, uh, Geo Metro doing a burnout to today I posted a Lexus IS300. Uh, muscle cars, the post whatever. So go check it out. And, you know, send in your car if you send in your car. Um, anyways, 
Speaking of hitting buttons, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon to be notified when I post videos. I post every other day, but not set time, so that's what you can do the bell icon for. Hope you like the video. Thanks for watching, and remember, stay positive.